benefits of celebrating your successes with your team? A lot. <laughs> I don't know why when people succeed, they, they want to buy themselves a Rolex or they want to uh, you know, buy themselves a car, buy themselves a new house, whatever. But when it comes to that team, it's overlooking. You know, I don't get it. Tate is crazy retarded. But, you know, I digress. That's one of my pet peeves. You will hear a new YouTube video about that shortly, I guarantee you. Because now that I think about it, that's one of my major pet peeves. If you're a leader, you're a business owner, entrepreneur, whatever you have, staff around you, don't pull up in a new, brand new Lamborghini while your staff is struggling to pay their light bill. Okay? Just don't do it. It's not a good look. It too, it pees me. It pisses me off, honestly. But I'm not gonna go down that road. Uh, you can sit there and say it's uh, it's everyone's choice. It's everyone's, you know, everyone has to make up their own life. Yeah, that's BS. If you know somebody's struggling and you got the means to do it, and it's not gonna hurt you, living an elaborate lifestyle while they are literally pinching pennies to survive, or you trying to hold over the head, it's not a good look. Don't. Like if you're one of those people, don't come, don't 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 come to me. Don't 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 give in the BS and say, oh man, everybody makes their own life. Yeah, everybody makes their own life, but also charity also begins at home. You know, just because your kid um, is not doing a choice doesn't mean you don't feed them, right? Just because they don't make an A in every class doesn't mean you know you don't give them a roof over their head and you don't give them a bed. Just saying. And you can make the excuse and say, oh, it's your kid. Of course, you do your kids like that. Yeah, but if it's people in your community, you know, you can start a community. You can start, you can, You don't have to go out in Africa. You don't have to go to some foreign third, third world country to provide some kind of system. And it doesn't have to be a gazillion dollars. It could be 20 bucks. It could be five bucks. It could be, be buying lunch. I was going to uh, leave my workout this morning and I'm starting to see uh, two guys in an old beat up truck, you know, um, Old beat up truck and they're passing out food to the homeless. Man, it to cook a large meal cost you make two, three hundred bucks. You probably can feed a hundred people, a hundred fifty bucks. I mean, hundred fifty people. Come on. My rant for today. Sorry guys, I don't know, man. I just been in my feelings about stuff, man, because I don't know. I, I don't know if the good Lord just put put it in my heart to really want to see people grow. I don't know if it, you know, I don't know. I see a lot of, uh, what do you call it? Bad things going on in the world. And it's simply because you have people who just don't care about other people. They just simply don't. They, you know, uh, people just care about going to their home, make sure they have their Netflix and they get order their pizza at night. Like, come on, guys. We're better than this, man. We, we, we just are. And it doesn't take a lot. So, you know, what they say, miss me with that. As 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 my men, my mentees say, my my young folks say that I, I keep keep up there. Super random tangent. Sorry, I man, I'm three minutes into this thing. All right, so I gotta make it quick now. Uh, what are the benefits of celebrating your success with your team? One, understanding. When your staff or your partners see that you're winning, chances are they saw it when you first started something. Okay, and when they see you succeed, they they get it. They get to understand. They probably starting to understand. Oh, that's what Ryder meant when he was saying, "All right, let's show up on time. Let's answer the phone like we work at Chick Fil A or something." And they starting to understand. They start connecting the dots. And guess what? It, now they feel empowered. They they buy into the culture. Not that you're trying to get them to be part of the cult, but you want them to be a part of your business. It's the business part, you know, podcast. This this business YouTube. Second thing, loyalty. When you celebrate your wins with your tribe, and I'm using this word tribe because I don't know if it's just new trending thing, but I kind of like it. It kind of, it's not, I don't like you to say using the words employees, partners is cool, colleagues is cool, but when you say tribe, that means I feel like, man, we going to hunt together. You know what I'm saying? We lock the arms, we going to hunt. We going to get this thing done. We about to go, you know, I'm vegan, but so we going to go hunt these plants. We about to go. Get our scissors, we're about to snip some stuff, man. We're about to, you know, saute some onions and some potatoes. Why do I go on this tangent? You guys got to start DMing me like, Ryan, why are you going on these tangents? So I can, you know, all right, loyalty, okay? 
Good thing I got this PowerPoint in front of me because I will go on a tangent on you. It'd be interesting tangent, but you'd be like, what does that have to do with what we're talking about? Create, create a sense of loyalty. Third, third benefit of celebrating your wins with your team is a level of appreciation. I know a lot of staff, I know a lot of people who do not, you know, appreciate their boss. One, because they just don't know what all it takes. And it's not necessarily meant for the CEO to convey to a frontline member what all it takes to get financing, close deals, acquisitions, mergers, yada, yada, yada. It, you know, it's, it's, it's not meant for that. But it doesn't hurt for the CEO to send out an email, monthly email, to everybody. It's like, hey, it could be 300 pages, 300 words. Hey, guys, I love what you're doing. Here are some key things that we're working on. If you can sanitize the doors when you walk into a restaurant, um, you know, and, and when you have our staff shirt on or something like that, you know, that would be greatly appreciated. And people are like, well, I don't know why. And then you put an explanation. Well, the reason why I decided to do it because I got 20 calls about, you know, our staff going to the nearest restaurant and they're not washing their hands or something. I don't know. You know, something crazy like that. So that's the third thing. Fourth thing that it does benefit that you get is camaraderie. What I mean by camaraderie is that it's uh, it's different from a working relationship. It's different from a uh, like an intimate relationship, but it's more like a we're in this together. Like you know, and I respect what you do. So like if you got the CFO, the CEO, the middle manager, and the executive vice president here, and the frontline work over here, like. Everybody has their own skill set, right? They all have their ex own experience and expertise, but the camaraderie comes in and says, hey, I don't know what to do about, this person might not know what to do with accounting, but they respect what they do, you know? And they say, okay, if Susan says, we need to stop spending so much money on soap, by God, we need to do it. And then the middle manager tells all the, all the, the people under them, say, hey, you gotta do something different with the soaps, all right? Fifth thing. Uh, organizational develop, development. So what I mean by that, the benefits of, of celebrating your wins with your colleagues is organizational development. It goes basically in line with everything I just said. When people understand the principle that you're talking about or you're teaching or you've been enforcing and they see it come into fruition, then they say, I get it now. And so now, when you, the next time you say something that's different, or, you know, not say it's different from what you were originally saying, but you say you try to do something different, something new, um, whether it's a new product, something like that. Guess what? Everybody's probably going to be like, you know, hey, if Ronnie says this, we need to take this to the bank. We need to do what we need to do. Okay? So we need to move forward. Like, they trust you. They, 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 they understand. So guess what? The less friction that you have with going to the next level, guess what? The better... And more, the better you become as an organization and the more money you can make because you're not having to fight internal issues. So five things, five benefits, five, 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 five benefits of celebrating your successes with your team. One, understanding. Two, loyalty. Three, appreciation. Four, camaraderie. Five, organization development. Hey, Ronnie Rice, man, here, to, here on the ones and twos. Oh, by the way. Check out Custom Made by Rose, and I think her website is customroseavs.com. Um, she hook, she's hooking me up with all the fly gear. Yeah, for those who need to understand that. There we go. Holla at your boy. We official. We official. Um, love you guys, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. Seriously, I do appreciate it, man. My subscribers are going up. They click, click, click. Hey, I'm a fan of, it's not about the amount, it's about the quality. And long as I'm actually providing value, I love you. Love you guys, man. I hope this helps, man. You guys have a blessed week.